Number one, hi, hello, welcome to the weekly vlog. I don't think I, s I don't remember starting it. Did I start the vlog? I can't remember. Anyways, hi guys, happy Monday. Um, I'm leaving work right now. Um, and instead of going home like I was going to do, I'm gonna go to the mall because um, there is a dress that I've been wanting since literally June. And it's on clearance for $7. And if I get lucky enough and it's there, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. We are also going to the um, downtown lighting ceremony this week on Wednesday. So, gonna, we'll have some Christmassy things. But right now, we're gonna run on down to the mall, see if I can get that dress. If I can't get that dress, it's fine. You know, it's fine. I still can't believe it's $7. So we're gonna go. Also, this week is Faith's birthday. So wish Faith a happy birthday down in the comments below. She is the bestest. Faith, if you're watching this, hi. I love you. I know today, while I'm filming this, isn't your birthday, and this is going up after your birthday. But either way, hello, love you, happy birthday, proud of you, Mwah. Um, And I, that's all I got. All right, friends, let's go last in one direction and head on down to the mall. I really hope they have the dress. Really, really, really hope they have the dress. I've been eyeing it since June. If they have it, if they have it and it's in my size, then we're calling it a sign. We're calling it a sign then. Anyways, I'm delusional. I need to go. Bye. They had the dress in my size and it was $7. Um, I also stopped at Old Navy because I thought they might have a long sleeve bodysuit because I have a turtleneck bodysuit that I really like wearing. Um, which for me is shocking. I used to hate bodysuits and wearing tight clothes, but I feel very confident about myself and my body right now. So you know what? We're gonna embrace it. Old Navy had a 40% off sale of the bodysuit. So it was only 15 bucks. I'm insane. Um, oh, before I forget, I gotta take my change that I got out and put it into my car. Um, so yeah, things are going well. I'm now gonna go and um, get dinner and then head home. And I think, oh no, I have to edit the vlog. I haven't even tried importing footage yet for the vlog. Okay, well, never mind on the reading front. I was gonna try to read Check and Mate, but we're gonna we're gonna go get Dins, and then we're gonna go home and edit. Love you. Good morning, besties. It's cold. Cause when isn't it cold? Um, we are on the way to work. Am I running late right now? Yes, yes, I am. Um, if you're wondering why I'm running late. It is because I uh, was watching old Dan and Phil games videos of The Sims and looked up and it was suddenly 7.40. So I had to very quickly get ready. Um, which, I'm just gonna say it. For getting ready in about, you know, 10 minutes, I still put together a pretty nice looking fit, so. I'll show you guys when I get cooler. Um, but yeah, hello, happy Tuesday. Um, today, we are gonna dip out of work just a little bit early to get our nails did. Um, let's see, do I have anything to update you on? I haven't read a fucking thing. So, I should probably do that. Um, probably not gonna read until I get home tonight though. Uh, because, well, actually I could probably, I'm gonna put my blue light glasses on later, um, and I'm gonna read Check and Mate at work, because, um, I wanted to 
to have my review up of that today. That's not happening because I'm only on chapter 10. So I'm sure I can finish it today. It just needs, you know, because it's an arc, the um, font is really small on the NetGalley app. So I need to um, wear my blue light glasses so it doesn't hurt my eyes. Um, so I think I'll probably read Check and Made at work today. Um, otherwise, that's really all we have going on. Tomorrow, um, we're going to go to the lighting ceremony downtown, which I'm very excited about because I really love the Christmas lights that our downtown does. So I will be very excited to go to that tomorrow night. Um, else going on the rest of the week honestly just work um I have Friday off because um I took it off for Faith's birthday because I was like you know what before Thanksgiving I'll I'll, I'll take a day off and I was like why not do it on Faith's birthday that way if she wants to you know hang out or anything I don't have to be constricted by having to be at work so there's a dog good morning dog oh the dog has a mother on nope. oh i guess i should i guess i haven't even talked about check and mate i've been reading it and not said a freaking word this is our scorching summer all over again um the update for check and mate is that i'm surprisingly very interested I really wasn't sure how Allie Hazelwood's writing was going to lend itself to a YA setting because Check and Mate is YA. It's her YA debut. Um, I wasn't sure how her writing was going to lend itself to YA considering she's really only written adult romances previously. Um, but it still has the same level of Allie Hazelwood writing. Um, but instead, it's just a little bit less adult, and I'm really enjoying it. I didn't think I was going to like all the chess stuff in it, but, like, I'm vibing. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to take all of that as a big win. Okay, let's park, park the car in the yard, is the whoever would say. And, um... Let's get our let's get our opening tasks done. Shall we? We shall. Let's go. Faith is currently coming to take me to the doctor. And if you're like, Dorothy, what the fuck? I, my back spasm on me last, yesterday when I was leaving work. And it's gotten progressively worse. Like, I can't walk without being in pain. I'm literally sitting here in pain right now, just waiting. The doctor opened at 8. Faith is taking me now. Like, she's on her way here. I'm... I nearly passed out this morning. Like, I can't lift my head. <laughs> okay, maybe I can't. It doesn't hurt. Ooh, boy, ow. Mm. I nearly passed out this morning. Um. So, it's doctor time. It's time to go to the doctor for this issue that keeps plaguing my body. Um. We thought the chiropractor helped. I guess not. I guess it's, I guess it's back and it's worse. Like it's worse than ever because I couldn't get out of bed this morning without help. Um, and then within moments of getting out of bed, my back spasmed, caused excruciating pain to shoot down my entire left side of my body. 
and I like literally screamed before I went to the bathroom. And as I was sitting down to wait for Faith, it happened again, and I nearly screamed again. So, yeah, it's bad. And we're going to go to the doctor now. Because, yeah, it's bad. I would assume the passing out is anemia-related, because that's how it felt. I wouldn't assume it's related to the pain, but you never know. So I guess we're going to go find out now. Wish me luck. I'm very tired. I didn't sleep well because um, I was in pain. So I couldn't find a comfortable position where the pain felt not as bad. So shout out to Faith, everyone. Being a real homie and uh, getting me to the doctor because... Normally I would take myself, but considering that I nearly passed out this morning, that's no longer an option, so. Shout out to none other than Faith. Give her some hype in the comments. Okay, she's going to be here any moment. And I'm going to just try to not focus on being viscerally in pain. Fun. Hello, friends. Happy Friday. Happy birthday to Faith. Um, Faith and I were supposed to be going down to Appleton today to just hang out for her birthday. But because I am on strict bed rest um, and like try not to move that much while your back heals, don't do any lifting try not try to minimize the walking we can't do that um today though to give you an update on my back we're having a better day um at least compared to yesterday um i once i got home from the doctor yesterday i took a little nap uh shout out to faith for taking me to the doctor like genuinely I was already having a rough time yesterday, and Faith made it significantly better by not only taking me to the doctor, but just being my friend. <laughs> so, shouts out to her. Um, the doctor gave me some uh, steroids that I need to be taking to help with the inflammation in my back, um, and a muscle relaxer to help with the back spasms that I was having. Um, so today, I got up. I was able to stand pretty straight without pain. Well, that's not without pain. Without screaming in pain. So that's a win for us. Um, yesterday, after I did get home and take my muscle relaxer, I pretty much just slept on and off. My boyfriend came home with a chocolate shake and cheese sticks for me because I had texted him that I really wanted them. So he brought them home for me. Um, I ate that and then I just slept for the rest of the, pretty much for the rest of the day. Um, this morning, I haven't really done much besides be in bed. I was really nervous about standing up to see how bad the pain was gonna be. Um, but now that I know that we're kind of okay, I feel a little bit better. Um, I'm currently fully sitting up because I have my heating pad going. I will need to do ice later on it. Um, but yeah, since I can't go anywhere or do anything today like I wanted to, um, I think we're just going to have a chill day in. And we're going to, um, I think I might do some reading. Um, I do have to tell you, because this is important. I've, I've temporarily stopped reading Iron Flame for right now. Um, and the reason for that is because 
the talk about the um character that passed that died um in the first book is really getting to me personally right now with you know just recently losing my grandfather um and so I like I can't I literally every single time that they're talking about said character I almost start sobbing my eyes out so I don't want to be doing that while I'm reading I've been told that it gets that the talk about side character uh dies down a bit but for right now I think for my own well-being I probably shouldn't be trying to read it um and hurting myself on the other side I have I think I want to finish check and mate because I really wanted to get my review up like, my entire content schedule for November is just out the window at this rate. And I kind of hate that. And I want to get back onto a plan. So, I think today I try to finish Check and Mate whilst I'm sitting here on my bed rest. Um, and, yeah. The next thing that I want to read after Check and Mate is I want to read Love Read Signed. Because, obviously. So, I will give you guys a reading update on Check and Mate, and I will check in with you guys all later. Wish me luck, because um, I would really like this whole spiel to be over, because I do have to work tomorrow, because I'm the only one that can. So yeah, cheers to recovery. Love you guys. fact working in retail with a back problem sucks like major sucks I'm gonna go home and take my muscle relaxer and just go to sleep even with back problems gotta get the cat snuggles even if I'm not going to be able to get up after this. And the purrs. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Um, happy Monday. This is currently not the start of a new weekly vlog. This is the, the ending of our last weekly vlog. Um, but the problem becomes that I was on Los Drogos for my back so I don't remember what I told you or how or what I updated you on or anything so very quickly whilst I make a quick drive over to the gas station to get myself some coffee and some breakfast um we're just gonna quickly talk about all the things I did read last week because I don't think I told you anything um so last week I finished um, Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. Um, I had a ARC copy, which is an advanced reader copy that I was sent from the publisher. So thank you very much to Simon & Schuster for sending me that. Um, I was shocked that I got one in the first place. Um, so I finished Check and Mate. I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed the way that Allie Hazelwood's writing translated to YA 
because I really wasn't sure how it was going to go considering, as you all know, she mainly writes adult. Like this was her YA debut. Um, so I was shockingly surprised and I really, really enjoyed it. I was found myself very immersed in the chess of it all. So, you know, we will, we will take that as we will. Um, other things that I've been reading, I started, uh, and I'm at, I think about almost 70% through Big Nick Energy by Morgan Elizabeth. This is a Christmas romance by Morgan Elizabeth. Last year I read Tis the Season, Tis the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. Um, so this year she put out a new one, um, and it's called Big Nick Energy. I'm really enjoying it. I think, um, I do think it is better um, than Tis the Season for Revenge, because um, I think I just enjoy this plot line more. Um, so I'm really enjoying that right now. And then on the other side of things, I am 15% through a book called Collided. Um, I cannot for the life of me remember the author's name. Um, this is a hockey romance. The cover's green. It's a really beautiful cover. Um, you'll see a picture of it in my uh, weekly photo dump. Um, so you can better see what it is. Um, and I'm really enjoying that. That's about a sports psychology student getting forcibly paired with a hockey player. Um, and she hates hockey because her dad was a hockey player and they don't have a great relationship. So really enjoying it. Um, and that's just your in general reading update. If you're wondering how I'm doing, um, I'm able to stand and I was walking around this morning without a lot of pain. So we're gonna count that as a win. However, at the same time, I was walking around Target yesterday with my boyfriend and that was awful. So it's hard to tell what is gonna be bothering me um so today luckily we are done at the lovely time of 3 30 so it's a shorter shift that I have to get through in order to get back home and go back to bed so wish me luck um with all that said if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below how your week was how you're doing if you have any tips and tricks for alleviating back pain please leave them in the com in the comments down below because a girl i have physical therapy next week so you know hopefully they have some stuff but at the same time i'm like oh boy need, need me something um and if you guys like this content, make sure to subscribe. I have a weekly vlog every single Tuesday and there are occasional other videos. A lot of my November schedule got completely shifted um, because of this incident um, because I couldn't read. I was not able to focus on anything but being in pain. So um, I do, there are videos coming. I just, um, have to adjust December now <laughs> essentially to make up for it so with all that said guys I will see you in the next one I've just arrived at the gas station so I'm gonna get me a hot coffee because it it do be cold outside and we will see you next week <laughs>